Hello from SIBO Global Markets. I'm Kevin Davitt, and this is Vol 411 for Tuesday, August 13th. The SPX settled last Friday at 2932 and change. Yesterday, we saw another big range in the S&P futures and cash with a lower settle. Today, the broad market is reversing course and is right back at 2932, which is up 1.75% today. This is on the back of news that some of the threatened tariffs will be delayed from September 1st until December 15th. Those items include a lot of technology as well as some shoes and clothing. Now, volatility as measured by the VIX index is declining again. After running up to nearly 25 at one point yesterday, the VIX index is now around 18 and a quarter. The VIX futures term structure is interesting. The August futures, which have just over a week until expiration, are trading around 1885. September is essentially even, with AUG and October is slightly below that level. Technically, there's a slight inversion in the front of the curve, but the front three months are trading at a premium to the index. So VIX options have been trading actively of late, given the whipsaw markets that we've seen. There's fairly significant open interest in the weekly VIX options that will expire tomorrow morning. In particular, the 19 strike calls, which are just out of the money at the moment. If we look out to the standard August options, the 19 call 18 strike put strangle is trading around 290. The VIX option marketplace is currently pricing in a rough range of 2190 to 1510 over the next five and a half sessions. VVIX has come in from around 110 to right around 100. This is clearly a fluid market. You've got overhang with trade war issues, issues with China and Hong Kong, global bond markets indicating the potential for slower growth, Argentina and Italian elections, Brexit deadlines. This is anything but a lazy late summer market. That's Vol 411. Thanks for tuning in.